Internet. We are here with something a little different because I've never tried streaming PC games. I currently have no way of seeing if the audio levels are fine or even if this looks good. Uh, yeah, fun story. My computer actually kind of has a stroke when I even try and record PC footage. I have to run like uh, my, my recording in administrator mode to even get OBS to record PC stuff without stuttering down. So if this looks completely god awful, uh, apologies. But I was so goddamn excited about this game, I, I just had to show it off. This is Spark the Electric Jester 3. Um, you might be familiar with my Game of the Year list, and how I showed off footage from the first game, and I, I just love this series. This game just came out actually yesterday, it was supposed to come out today, it came out like a whole day in advance. I haven't played it yet, I, I wanted this to be the first thing I try and livestream PC-wise, uh, and it has been an absolute nightmare to get this up and running. Not that there's a problem with the game or anything, it's just getting uh, the whole PC streaming to work was a huge pain. I, I had to like recreate my Twitch account like three times just to get it to log on to my like, uh, phone just so I could see chat. So uh, anyway, we're going to do this on normal. Um, actually, we're going to go to save to normal because, and this is just consistency for me, um, when I first played the second game, the first slot was challenge mode, which, yeah, so we're, we're gonna do this on normal and save slot one for challenge mode, like a total pro. Let's go. I don't know if anyone can see that, I'll move that out of the way. Again, total noob at this whole PC thing, but there isn't a console version of this game yet, although apparently there is one that is kind of, uh, maybe in the works? I will buy it. I will buy it because I love this series. I'm, I'm just going to say it. We have a car. This is new. <laughs> so that's our boy Spark, protagonist of the first game. Did not show up at all in the second game. <laughs> Cars are new. <laughs> that's interesting. So, if you've never heard of Spark the Electric Jester, it's basically the best Sonic game ever. Um, the original could best be described as, like, Sonic Advance meets, um, Kirby meets Mega Man X, and then the second game could best be described as, like, Sonic Adventure 2 meets Devil May Cry, and it's just unbelievably good. There was never any vehicles, though. Um, there, there was in some cutscenes, and the second game did feature, like, a motorcycle power-up you could ride for about two seconds, but it was not my favorite power-up, so I just kind of didn't use it. This is pretty interesting, though. Like, you know, if I'm expecting anything from Spark the Electric Jester, it's solid stage design and an excellent soundtrack. Everything else is just gravy at that point. But I was so excited to just be able to uh, play a new Spark game. There's a drift? Oh, let's drift then. Oh, there's a boost. Rock and roll. Okay, avoid the red things. Got it. Getting too, too fancy. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's a bit of a, a, a Mario Kart dash to this. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. I was actually just playing a little bit of the second game earlier today, just because I I wanted to uh, play some more Spark. I, I just love this series so much. If there's going to be a console release, I will buy this game again, and I will buy it multiple times. Because, you know, I, I just love supporting an indie dev that makes good stuff. Which is what this is. This, this series is good. I've never played this game, but I'm, I'm very certain it's going to be a quality experience. Based on my experience with the other games. It's, it's kind of a tragedy that I don't think all that many people know about the Spark series. I want to make a, a review on the series, honestly. Just because I love them so much. It looks a bit like the Sega Rally car, thinking about it. Also, yeah, that's, that's the um, Kirby Spark hat from... From, uh, what is it, Kirby... Oh, there's a wall run. That's interesting. That's new. Get dashy. There we go. Interesting intro. The others did not play like this. There wasn't really vehicles before this. But I'm excited to see where this game goes. Because, you know, I, I just love the series. Alright. So every stage has set goals. Completing them will reveal surprises. Oh, I like surprises. Surprises are pretty fun. Okay, these special goals are speed medals, score medals, and explore medals. Well, 
I can tell you, I, I want to try and 100% the entire series. I've done it with the first game. The second game, I actually have a lot of trouble with the speed and score medals, but it's mostly because in that game, and it might just be a, a control thing for me, the, the controls are a bit too twitchy. So it, it takes some getting used to, to to really go for those speed and score things. Exploration, though, that's totally my jam. I love exploring games. Uh, speed medals can be obtained by beating a stage quickly. You can then see your threshold for obtaining a speed medal in the world map after you select the desired stage. Not all stages have speed medals, though. Okay, that makes sense. If, if it's more of an auto-scroller, of course it's not going to be speed. Uh, score medals can be obtained by getting a certain amount of score. Now, if this is anything like the previous game, if you hit a certain threshold, um, you will basically lose all score. <laughs> so, it's kind of important that you do things at least with a certain degree of speed, you know? You don't want to go too slow if you can help it, because bad stuff happens. Uh, score is obtained by collecting collectibles. Easy enough. Destroying enemies and objects. But not all objects are destructible. Some are solid walls. Which actually leads to a kind of an interesting part about the previous game I'm hoping carries over. Uh, there was all sorts of, like, um, stuff in the environments. Like, like just buildings off in the distance. And there was always collision programmed into them. And there was always stuff out there. So there was just tons of stuff to find if you were willing to, like, mess with the physics just to figure out how to get to places. Uh, you can get more score by increasing the multiplayer. Everything is increased. Also increases the multiplayer, but collecting bits is the best way. So keep collecting stuff and you'll do well. You also find exploration middles. There are 10 hidden around every stage. Some stages might have less though. Okay. So there are not 10 around every stage. You can review information from the pause menu. That's useful. I remember if anything from the previous game, uh, finding like a a proper tutorial was a little bit annoying because you had to like reselect the first stage and then just kind of start from the <laughs> exact beginning. Okay. So stage one, Terminal Village, Double Moon Villa. Get to the goal. I think we can do that. I'm, I'm hoping if we can't, this is going to be real embarrassing for me. Unlock more stages, you'll need Freedom Medals. So Freedom Medals are basically like Sonic emblems. I can dig it. Each stage gets you one. You can review all this information later. Good, 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 good. All right. Woo! This feels slightly less twitchy than the previous game. Oh, hey. Oh, snap. Okay, so this is a parry. Um. It's absolutely vital for boss fights in the previous game, and I can tell you for a fact that uh, Spark did not have a parry in the first game. His, his uh, counterpart had one. I'm guessing they kind of carried it over for Spark to have just because his alternative, which would have been like a, a dash where you just avoid things at the last minute, would have been a little awkward to program in three dimensions. I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, we, we still have a bit of a combo system, making it kind of a Devil May Cry sort of situation. I'd like to find some power-ups, because the series had some really fun ones. Woo! But if we see anything that looks interesting, I want to go down here and see if I can find something. Ooh, there's whole paths and stuff down here. Obviously we're going down here. Alright, what do we got? That's a health thing. Smack you. Oh yeah, that feels good. I think this game really does, similarly to like the previous ones, it really does get sort of like the Sonic 3D sort of, you need a certain amount of areas that are kind of basically running on their own, but you also need to have like the ability to interact with stuff. So like there's, it's it feels a bit stop and start, but so did like the Sonic 3D games, even the best ones. So that's fine. Woo! But man, go get this game. This feels good. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not in the honeymoon phase, because I'm literally just playing it, but... <laughs> it's a fun series, and uh, everyone needs to play Spark, I think. Especially Sonic fans, because it's basically a Sonic game done by someone who understands how to make a good Sonic game. 
you know, not not dissimilar to the, to um, stuff like Freedom Planets or or uh, Sonic Mania. Sega should just stop making Sonic games and just get the fans to do it because the fans clearly know how to do it right. I wonder if I can climb the walls because it looks like there's an up up there bit. Oh well. Okay, so let's get dashy, as one of the signs from the first game would say. I think the dash was included in this. This is just speculation on my part, but I think dash was included in the series because there was like physics issues with actual loops. Like you could take him, but if you got to like the top of a loop, you just kind of stop. So you need some way to like keep momentum. All right. So let's see what kind of score we got. I don't know what that sound was. But... Hmm. I got no exploration medals. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. Because that's... That's just my thing. My thing is exploration. That just can't be. I think... I think we're gonna have to do a whole exploration thing now. Are we getting plot now? Alright, let's get some plot. <laughs> what were we doing? That's the, that's the world question right there. Yep, he wanted to be an electrician. Kinda had his job stolen. Became a street performer. Got that job stolen. Became a hero. <laughs> Just to get his job back. The plot to this series is, is very, very well thought out. <laughs> yeah, they never explain clarity. That that was a, a thing that was introduced sort of by the end of the second game. But Freem's kind of the main villain. He's basically kind of Frieza and Cell meets a robot. I love Cell was a robot, if I recall. And so was Frieza thinking about it. The end of the second game got really Dragon Ball Z. Ah, oh, there's Best Boy Fark. <laughs> yeah, he was supposed to be Freon's son. Spoilers for the second game, by the way. Yeah, that's one thing that never made sense, because as I understand, he was made to defeat Freon by, like, posing as, like, a subordinate officer, and then they made him a son, so that... That didn't really make sense. I, I'm guessing it was sort of a... The guy kind of figured that he needed to be replaced at some point. It was weird, but... I don't think that was coincidence. I think we needed an edgy version of you. The funny thing is, he looks angry and edgy, and he's, he's genuinely not from the second game. Uh, I love this series. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the Fark Force, that's great. Like most viruses, it, it just ruins everything. How can you shut down the internet? <laughs> Aw. Wasn't he your roommate once? Yes, he was. <laughs> he did totally take your look. Although his hat's much bigger. <laughs> I didn't know what else to name it. He spent it all on that jacket that he never had before. Bank lines were long, so now I'm frustrated. I'm gonna save the world again. That that sounds like a plot worthy of the first game. <laughs> if I can't play as Fark by the end of this, I'm gonna be sad. He was the best boy. Alright, I think we gotta do some exploration meddling. Because clearly we've got some extra places we can go. But we missed some exploration stuff. And I'm all about the exploration. Oh, there's challenges. Alright, let's do a challenge. Charge Jester Dash. Okay, get to the goal. 
I'm guessing this just sort of tutorializes stuff, but there will be more challenges as we go. Good reminder. That's not going to get annoying at all, I don't think. It might. <laughs> really quickly. Boom! Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not quite as twitchy as the previous game, and I kind of appreciate it for that. Oh! No. What I need is edgy mode that gives you, like, triple jump. <laughs> okay. We're starting back at the start. It looks like we are. Okay. There we go. Alright, that feels good. I'm used to just flinging myself forward, using it in midair. But, yeah. Woo! Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> uh, I was never really all that good at the air dashing nonsense. Okay. So let's try, let's try this. I, I think hitting that's gonna pretty much kill our entire momentum. But... Okay. Yeah, they're kind of telling you to fling yourself forward. Okay. Okay. Oh. Alright, there we go. Whoops. <laughs> I missed the homing attack there. Oof. I didn't say I was good at this. Damn it. I just said I love this series. There needs to be, like, a million of these games. Whoa! Okay. Almost flung ourselves off into space there. Woo! Checkpoint. Wall run! Like, the, the momentum and, like, all the things you can do with it. At least in the previous game, and seemingly in this game, I would think. I mean, it seems like that. It's just so incredibly well thought and complex. Okay, hold on. I know how to do this. I played enough Sonic the Hedgehog to know how stuff like this works. There we go. Alright. There's an extra metal. Nice. Okay, I want to go do some exploring on that stage we just cleared. Uh, I'm having fun with this. Also, when this game came out, and, I mean, now, it was on sale. It, it launched on sale. That's, you know, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, Squirrel, I'm, I'm seeing that the, the the previous game had some huge stages as well. I, I'm hoping this looks good. Tell me if this looks good, because I haven't had anyone to talk to. I've never streamed PC stuff before, so I don't know how this is working. Um, but, yeah, the stages tend to be pretty massive, and apparently like, there's a huge amount of stuff I've just missed. But, man, I, I just love this Spark series. I, I really do need to make some videos on my channel about this. Hey, there's some people hanging out here. Cool. But we missed a bunch of exploration... Okay, it's a bit pixelated, but it's watchable. Alright, uh, that that might be OBS's issues. I, I had to do some chicanery to get this working with, with the chat on my phone. I kind of had to, like, uh, basically I had to, like, reinstall OBS's uh, connection to my Twitch account, which I think is messed with all my settings, so I'm going to have to go back and, like, hop the bitrate next time or something. But... You know, for, for just faffing around for an evening. I think that's okay. But we apparently missed a whole bunch of exploration medals, and I, as an explorer, will not let that stand. <laughs> we have to find stuff. Ooh, there's something up there. That was the cool thing about, like, the previous game. There was, like, just buildings and random nonsense far off in the horizon, and if you could get there, there was, like always collision programmed into it and stuff you could get there 
Like, they, they really did think about you going everywhere and anywhere. And I think it was probably just because it was designed for, like... That's what I'm looking for, like, speedrunners and stuff, but... It's, it's such an interesting design concept to just put collision everywhere and just hope people find a way to get there, you know? This is just, like, the start of this area, too. Alright, well... Yeah, uh, well, it did mess with my OBS settings. Like, I... I had a condenser mic, so I have to pump this through my headphones, and, and the moment I had to do that, I'd like, completely restart my computer, uh, reinitialize my headphones on everything. <laughs> it's a whole thing. But, you know, for, for one evening, I, I think it'll be fine, but yeah, I probably should just crank my bitrate up again. Because I don't want to have, like... Because I'm, I'm not recording this, I'm going to use the VOD on my YouTube channel, so I'm going to have to. So apologies, YouTube, this is going to look like crap. Ooh, this guy's new. Alright. What have we over here? Yeah, these stages are pretty massive. I mean, I'm, I'm still at the ostensibly start of the stage. I don't think we're getting the speed medal, and probably not this... Ooh, there's another. There's ten of these things, and we've only found two, and we're still at the start. Woo! Also, there's gonna be lots of gravity defying if you, you play these games. The, the second game had, like, a metric crap ton of bits that were just... Oh, suddenly you're upside down. Oh, it feels so good. I'm not seeing any, like, power-up items, though. But I'm seeing, like, a little thing to the side, which makes me think they're still here. It might just be that, you know, it's first level, so it's early. All I want is edgy so I can triple jump. That's, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's gonna kill me if I go after that, so let's not do that. Woo! We're about to lose all our score, too, if this is anything like the previous game. Because the moment you pass the five-minute threshold, all your points just hit zero. <laughs> Woo! Ah, still a... This feels so good. Like, if you like Sonic Adventure, just don't think about it. Just get this game. It's good. It's on sale right now. You can get the whole bundle on sale. Hell, if you've got bits of this series already, the bundle's even further on sale. Ah, this feels good. Woo! <laughs> oh man. Why can't Sega make a good Sonic game? <laughs> like, I, I just can't fathom why they just ruin everything they touch. <laughs> Oh, hey, we passed five minutes, and we still have score. Well, that's a nice sign. Bop. <laughs> Man, I, I am digging just how much there is in these stages. And it just feels very smooth. Bop, bop. Grab these, thank you. not seen any more of those little secret hidden metal things, so... Bop. <laughs> oh, this just feels so good. Oh man, next month there's a new Freedom Planet. We are getting so many cool Sonic games right now, in spite of the fact that Sega's also putting out some, like, the worst Sonic crap nowadays. <laughs> like, I'm 
I'm not excited about Sonic Frontier. I have no interest in actually playing it. <laughs> but I will play all the Sonic fan games because they're awesome. Bop. Yeah, yeah. I've not heard of Sage. I'm gonna have to look that up. I tried looking that up after I, after you mentioned it the other day, but uh, all I saw was some like card game looking thing. Also, apparently there's gonna be like a, a console version of this, or at least they're they're hoping to make a console version of this. That's pretty cool. I will buy multiples of this game. I like that they gave Spark Farks parry, though. That was a good change. Pop. Okay, so... Some of those capsules are healing, some of them are scorer. And I appreciate that they don't just completely drain your score once you pass, like, uh, 500 like they did in the previous game. Oh, the Sonic Amateur Game Expo. I have never heard of that. I'm gonna have to check that out. Because that does sound really good. I mean, like I said, the Sonic fans seem to know how to make Sonic better than Sonic developers at this point. I'll have to take a look at that. Like, I, when you said that the other day, I thought it was, like, some game on Steam. I was like, oh, is there another kind of Sonic-y style game coming out? I was like, oh, well, there's a card game called Sage that's coming out, but... Okay, well, I learned something today. That's exciting. Fortunately, it, it doesn't, like, auto-home into the next rail. It's, it's not, like, Ratchet. Which is only a problem because I've been playing a lot of Ratchet for a review. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw something over there. Hello? Oh, they put little names next to their health bars too, that's cool. Okay, let's deal with one of you at a time. And then worry about the other one. Boom! I don't want to go down there, I'm betting. We'll grab these points. See if there's anything. Aha! Uh -huh, more guys to kill. Oh. It's a bit of an auto lock system that's a bit. a bit obnoxious, because I'm trying to hit the big guy just to focus on him. Alright. Yeah. I think this game would be great for speedrunners. I mean, you know, by design, Spark is, but yeah, this is fun. <laughs> we need to find some power-ups. We need the sword to kill things and we need Edgy to jump a whole bunch. So I've already seen this. Can I skip this? Yes, I can. Good. Good, good, good. Let's see if we can do another challenge mode, since we have have the option to. And I think we unlocked, like, five of them. Area 1. Terminal Village. AM Village. Find all medals before timer runs out. Okay, let's go. Let's do a scavenger hunt type of thing. You don't need to collect them all. Just set them out. That's... One spelling error. That one spelling error is literally the lowest point of this game thus far. It's it's a great game, is what I'm saying. Go play this game, it's good. Okay. So we need ten of these. Nine more. Oh, there's one. Kind of like this. It's, it's a big sort of... Um, 
Open area scavenger hunt. Oh, there's something down there. There. Woo! Whoop! Grab that. Oh, yeah. I gotta say, <laughs> this feels good to play. Like, I, I know I've already said it, but, you know, I found the first spark the electric gesture and showed it off on my channel for just footage to have on the background as I introduced my game of the years for last year. And when I, I played even just a little bit just to get that footage, I kind of knew that it was going to be on my list for this year, but damn, this, this game is definitely cementing that feeling. Okay, there's one. That is not an accurate clock, because for me it's like 5 a.m. Okay, so we got some underwater nonsense. But no coins down here. Gotta look for that little, like, blue pulse they give off. Pop. Woo! Jump! Oh, this just feels so good. And, and the auto-homing, like, the, the homing attack thing, that, that works so well. Like, it just feels... Very smooth. Bop. Honestly, I, I feel like when I played Sonic Adventure 2 when I was a kid and I'd play like those space stages and I'd try and find ways to like find gaps in the death plane so I could skip chunks of the stage. That, that's what it feels like while just flying around these stages. It's like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but it just feels so good not to do it. <laughs> Oh, you think you saw one on the train? Let's find out. We are missing one if there's one on the train. Well, there's certainly... Ow! <laughs> one on the tracks. Good eye. <laughs> Ow. Holy crap, those things come out of nowhere. It's a good thing I'm playing on... on... Uh, normal difficulty or we might be in trouble. If I was setting this on challenging, we, we'd be dead in about one hit. <laughs> Oh, this game is magical. I mean, to be fair, you had to fight one of those trains in the previous game. Oh, oh man, this, this just feels good. Challenge 1, slope jumping. Now, if I know my Sonic nonsense, this means get a lot of momentum, jump on an upward slamp, and fly. Let's try it. Woo! Yep. Sonic nonsense, alright. Oh, the physics in this just feels so good. <laughs> Seriously, anyone out there, if you like Sonic in 3D, hell, if you don't, play this game. It's, it's, it's genuinely a very good platformer. I'm saying that one level in. Although, just in general, I can't sing the praises of Spark enough, because it's such a great series. It's made by, like, one guy, too, as I understand. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, what do we have? That's special training. Okay, let's see. Area 1, high-rise tracks, get to the goal. Alright. Okay, so use Jester Dash to destroy a small enemy. Yep, I've been doing that a whole bunch. Yeah, there is a free demo on the Steam page. It's actually been out for uh, a very long time, too. I had it on my Steam account for a very long time, the demo, and I just never played it just because I didn't want to spoil myself for how good this was going to be. Just because I... At this point, I, I've played two games made by this developer in this series. I know I'm going to get something special in quality. And I just... I did not want to spoil it for myself. And thus far, I would say I have very much was right to do so.
This this is so good. Woo! Bop. Oh! It's a good sense of speed, too. Okay, so I've already collected those medals, and since I've done that, it's gonna let me keep that. That's cool. It seems to let me keep my score as well. Like, I cannot overstate how nice it- everything just feels like it flows together. I missed that, though. It looks like the medals kind of correspond to how far they are on the stage. So there's actually probably one around the entrance to the stage that we missed. And you can kind of see little, like, pillars of light. Ow. That kind of correspond to where those things are. So while they are hidden, if you've got a discerning eye, you can kind of pick out the telltale signs. Woo! Bop. Oh man, this this feels good. As as someone who was like the biggest fan of Sonic Adventure 2, it's it's hard to find a game that does Sonic as well as Sonic Adventure 2 did. Like Sonic hasn't been as good as that since like ever, except maybe Mania. But you know, Spark 2, Spark 3, they they really did sort of nail down the whole Sonic Adventure feel. And now that they've kind of removed most of the twitchiness that the previous game sort of had with its control scheme, I, I think they've really, really improved. And the only thing at this point I have to say is Fark better be playable or I'm gonna riot. Because <laughs> he was best character. Woo! Alright. You should absolutely play more of it. I've 100 percent the first game. And and that gets a these games get real tricky. And and the only reason why I haven't 100 percent the second game is just because again like it has really twitchy controls, so doing like the speed and score stuff is a little bit hard. Don't forget to stop by Shopalo. Okay. So what do we have here? Okay, so we it, it looks like we got a couple more challenges. The Jester Dash, let's do it. But yeah, you, you should uh, <laughs> grab the bundle. <laughs> it's it's a good uh, value and it's on sale. And if you've already got the first game, you're going to get more of a sale for it. I think these things... Ah, yeah, they, they respawn as you hit them. Okay. But it's just basically mess with the homing attack. Oh, it's Metal Harbor all over again. I mean, the only thing so far it's missing, aside from the fact that I'm not playing as Fark, is, uh, still haven't seen any power-ups yet, but again, we're one level in, so I'm guessing they probably get tutorialized not much further in, because they're kind of integral. Whoop! Ah, the movement, everything in the movement in this game is just, it feels good. This really does feel like an evolution of the previous game. And the previous game was already very, very good. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah! Oh, the power-ups are in the shop. Okay. We might have to go to the shop sooner rather than later then. Because power-ups are important. I mean, as I said before, the original Spark the Electric Jester was basically Sonic Advance meets Kirby meets maybe Mega Man X a little bit, but not much. And the second decided to make it basically Sonic Adventure 2 meets Kirby meets Devil May Cry. But without power-ups. Well, there might be. I, I know there was... You could buy power-ups in the second game if you didn't want to hunt them down in the stages. So there, there might be some there. It's worth taking a look. So let's do it. Let's stop by Shopalo's Goods. Alright, we got extra moves, extra powers, upgrades, jester powers, and back to map. Let's check out extra moves. Okay, so we can power up our, our basic jesterness. What do we have for extra powers? Okay, so these are like passive sort of buff type things. Is 
That's pretty cool. There's a lot of customization here. Let's you channel your power into more power. You'll hit harder when it's active. Okay. You'll be able to see interesting stuff. Okay, so that... Okay, first of all, that's a dragon radar. But second of all, that's... Or it's, it's the scouter, but... It's basically what's going to tell you what's around you. That's pretty cool for looking at stuff. Okay. So there's stuff to just boost the power. Rail upgrade to boost. Dash button to uh, boost forward. Hold the heavy attack button to slow down rail. However, if you're going really fast, you can absorb the speed and convert it into energy. Oh. Yeah, I might want to pick up the radar, certainly. There's so many power-ups here. <laughs> Nothing there yet. Okay. So, uh, I think it was an extra... Yeah, radar. Okay, let's... Oh, I don't have enough yet. Okay. Unfortunately, we're, we're gonna hold on for the radar, then. But let's keep going. Okay. Also, I want to point out, how much are they charging for Sonic Frontier? You know, a, a game that looks like a total mess? Oh yeah, like $90. <laughs> this game cost me, I think, 16 And it's a better Sonic game. Woo! Although, I'm thinking if those... Those power-ups are what you assign to the stuff on the left. That means that there's no more, like, uh, transformation abilities, which is kind of unfortunate. That was part of the series' identity. Granted, I didn't find as much use for it in the second game. Really, it was just get edgy for triple jump, get sword for extra damage, but still. Maybe getting rid of it might have been a good idea. I don't know. Oh, that's a huge amount of speed. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually supposed to be, like, doing this in 20 seconds. That would explain why there's such intense speed. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to make it in this time frame. Unless... Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, unless I can kind of yeet myself off into a corner of that uh, jump, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this. Oh, not quite. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. There we go. That's what we want to do. Not like that, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no light dash that'll let me collect all those bits while gaining a huge amount of speed. As far as I know, <laughs> there might be a power-up for that. It's true. There is that whole section that's totally empty. That might be the power-ups we're looking for. To be fair, if they did remove the transformations, I could see why. Like I said, they didn't make a lot of use in the previous game other than just extra damage for a boss and, like, triple jumps. But, you know, it, it does feel like a bit of the core identity of the series. Oh, we didn't find any of the collecting stuff, and I think there were a few collection medals there, but that's fun. Oh, was there a light dash? Oh... Interesting. And that's special training, which I think we've already done, which is why it's a star. So let's move on to the next level. The boss. Sawman. Defeat the boss. Let's do it. Bigger enemies need to be destroyed using attacks. Make sure you check the moves page. See, this is why you buy moves. <laughs> the higher the bar, the more damage you deal. By hitting enemies with the same attack, you won't raise the bar. Okay, that's that's different from the previous game. You could just spam attacks in the previous game, and as long as you didn't get hit, you'd be fine. You can hold the parry button. I'm guessing that's different in the challenging mode, because uh, the previous game, again, not to just keep bringing up the previous game, but, like, you could do that in the other game, but if you played on challenging, you had, like, less than a tenth of a second of parry, so you really had to know when to block it. If you see this over an enemy, there's a big red flash and a sound effect. He's about to attack. The attack will be parried. 
If it's yellow, the attack cannot be parried. Okay, so there are attacks we can't parry. Interesting. You can't parry green. Green means you're gonna get hit by a grab. Wow, we are making far more complex enemies now. All right, let's do it. It's the turtle thing for Mega Man X. Block. Block. I'm not even in the area where you can hit me. Oh, I've got a heavy attack. I should probably actually use that. <laughs> there we go. off right about there unless you've got a second form I wouldn't be surprised uh oh <laughs> all right let's do it oh there's a bit of a delay there I'm playing too much challenge mode in the previous game. I keep thinking I can actually... Like, I only have like half a second, so I really have to time it, but I'm playing simple, so I can just hold it down and block. Although that's, that's a really bad habit to get into if you actually want to move on to the more complicated modes. Oh, that's a grab. Red is block. 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 Oh. Block. Got a third form? Yes, you apparently do. <laughs> or you're just gonna do that. That's a way to solve a fight, I guess. We're getting very Dragon Ball Z up in here. <laughs> I loved everything about that. <laughs> no, no, there, there was no QTE, it's just we made a really exciting kind of boss fight cutscene type of thing. The second game had a lot of those near the end. Okay. Lost Riviera. Get to the goal. Let's do it. Jump on a rail to ride. And then get dashy. You can build speed by crouching. Beware that crouching will make you lose speed. Okay, so don't crouch uphill. Put the analog stick towards the rail you want to... Oh, okay, so we are actually getting proper... Okay. We're actually making that pretty easy. Alright, let's do it. It's only level 2, and we've already gotten, like, what, an hour at least of content from this? Alright. Oh, this is definitely Skyrail. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> already ranking up the danger here. Oh man, this 
This is... I was having a really crappy day, and I will say this outrights B. This, this made my day. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Crap. Okay, so jump. Whoa! Nope, I want that blue thing. I don't know what it does, but I want it. <laughs> it's a thing. Ah, totally missed that. Let's try this again. Want that yellow thing? It's a thing! Give it to me! <laughs> ah! I gotta... I gotta use that, that lock-on dash thing. Okay, so it's L, left trigger, B. Alright, there we go. Okay, so let's let's take that off so we don't lose speed. Crouch again. All right. Oh, this just this game is pretty. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is basically the Sonic Adventure three I wanted back when I played Sonic Adventure two and was sad it was over. Well, except back then I wanted like a big open world in a Sonic Adventure 3 like the original had, and I've since thought about it and thought, no, that was actually kind of terrible. Ooh, there's a coin that I completely whiffed. Oh, I almost got it too. Crap. Alright, let's try this again. That's not... Oh, that's not where that coin was. That's where the coin was, I think. Yep, I see it. Ah. <laughs> yes, almost recovered, but uh, almost only counts in horseshoes cut, man. Lock. Let's go. Ah, oh, time that exactly wrong. I'm glad I'm not playing challenge mode right now, or we'd be completely boned. Okay. Okay. Take it slow. Grab all the points, because I deserve them. Bop, bop. There we go. Uh, dash. <laughs> right, you lose speed when you go uphill. <laughs> I kind of remember that. Oh, yep, I want to see what's up here. Like, you could just ignore the rails in their entirety if you want. I, I just love the freeform design of these games. Like the first, or the second game did it really well, and this game totally improves it. Oh, I, I'm just... I am without words for this game, it's, it's fun. That was an extra route I could have taken. Part of me wants to just jump off the rails and see like all the little side areas, but part of me also wants to see, oh, how fast can I go on these things? Where do these rails take me? I want to see it all and I want to see it now. And that's a sign you've made a game that's engaging me. Oh, okay. That was physics right there. Yeah, there's there's just an incredible amount of like options in in where you can go and and how to get to your destination. The freeform nature of the design of these stages is just beautiful. I gotta say, uh, B Powered really, really has improved since the previous games, and that's again I like the previous games; they were good games, but. You know, you can clearly see it evolving, and then, uh, you know, the craft is being honed here. And 
And I gotta say, I, I'm kind of excited to see what happens next. Like, what will Spark 4 look like? You know? Like, I, I'm clearly seeing a, a developer who's learning and getting better and is clearly very talented and passionate, and I am more than happy to support that every step of the way. Even with what little money I have, I am more than happy to buy this game day one. Oh, this is just such a good platformer. <laughs> And it, it's not holding your hand, either. It's it's definitely giving you a run for your money. It's got challenge. Whoa! Okay, so those trains are coming straight at you. <laughs> so do something about that, please. <laughs> Oop. Is there something over here? Oh, there is. There's always stuff over everywhere. Gotta remember that. The music's so good. And like I said, I, I've been having a really crap day, and this absolutely has just perked me up. Alright. Oh, the environments look so cool, too. I actually just want to kind of jump out of the playable area and explore this world. Not a lot of games make me want to do that. That took seven minutes. In fact, as you probably could beat it in about two, if you wanted. But I don't know why you'd want to, unless you're a speedrunner, because you'd be missing out on all the cool stuff. Oh, that's probably not good. <laughs> Big boomity boom. I think I know who this is. Oh. Oh. That's yellow. Can't block that. Holy crap. Let's avoid that. Oh. Block. 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 <laughs> As long as you don't do that yellow attack. Whoop. 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 I'm terrified of the challenge mode to this because that yellow attack I don't know how to deal with. <laughs> Other than just know it's coming and avoid it. lost my combo.
There once was a castle. It was a fancy castle. <laughs> it had a guardian that did guarding things. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't think that's what the guardian's name was, but... Oh man, I want to play Eco now. <laughs> I was never any good at Eco either. I think I see where this is going. <laughs> she was a smiley face once again. <laughs> murder all of mankind. <laughs> this got dark rather quickly. And then they decide to steal a certain electrician's job and then decide to steal that certain electrician's second job of being a street performer and that's when it got personal And he was the best protagonist the second game ever had. <laughs> mm. I see. They're starting to explain why the plot to the first game with this guy didn't make a ton of sense. Or, you know, send him into an existential crisis. That works too, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, I think we've got ourselves some new forms. I think we might have to buy some power-ups now. Also, Reaper? Going to store now. Must buy power-ups. Alright. Yes, obviously I'm buying a scythe. Because it's the least practical weapon this side of nunchucks. Use the power to assign a slot. Follow input instructions to the right. Okay, so... Uh, set with the D-pad. 
Ah, it's right bump and D-pad. Okay, let's go. Let's see what this whole transforming nonsense is all about. Uh, where we could we? High speed, let's do it. <laughs> what are the repercussions of this purchase? That's a good question. Okay, so hold LT and, and whatever to use it. Okay, that's cool. I just want to mess around with this now. Oh yeah. That actually combos really nicely. It's it's slow, but it probably deals a ton of damage. Which means it's probably an evolution of the sword from the previous game. But where's the one that lets me triple jump? Probably grab that. <laughs> Woo! These nice little challenges are they're, they're a fun little way to distract you from the main quest. This game has so much content. I mean, we're like, what, an hour, hour and a half in at this point? And we're like two levels in? <laughs> I am thoroughly impressed by this game. And then we fling ourselves off into space, because that's the only way to end a level. Now we gotta find an enemy to use this on, though. That's, that's gonna be the real test of how effective the Reaper power is going to be. Let's see. Get to the goal. Let's see if there's... Meow. <laughs> Hold the dash button while on a wall to walk on the wall. Yep, there's a wall running. All right, so let's let's throw on Reaper, cause why not? Oh, this has a completely different feel. This is the same level as the previous one too, but it's got a totally different feel, just biting some water. Oh, the soundtrack is so killer. Oh, I am just digging everything about this game. Whoa! Almost flung myself off into the water. Good save. Tried to do a wall run. Didn't work so well. Alright. Oh man, this is... This is just... The flow of this game just feels so good. <laughs> like, it, it's... The best way I can describe it is I'm not really thinking about how I'm moving in this game so much as I'm just moving. <laughs> you know, it's it's like I'm basically one with the game. And whenever you can achieve that kind of state with a game, that's a sign you've done something really well. Ah. I blocked that completely wrong. <laughs> oh. That air game isn't too bad. Ah, there we go. Probably just parried my way through it. Oh, that kills my momentum, though. Alright. Want those points. Did not parry that right. There we go. Oh, 
That's fine. Yep. Gotta remember I've got that homing attack. <laughs> Kevin, your big fancy completely impractical weapons all well and good, but you gotta sometimes remember the basics. I did not do that right. Alright. I don't think we're going to be able to make that jump without that dash. Oh, crowd control weapon. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Okay, bring on the bigger guys. Oh, you can juggle the big guys with this. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, this game just feels good. jumping. I could use more practice at that. Let's do it. There we go. Oop, that's not the right angle at all. Jump, jump, and there we go. Yeah, everything outside the trials has exploration medals, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's just so much bloody content in this game. Alright. Oh, we unlocked something new, Area 3. Or we could go to... Canyon Zero. In a raid stage, your goal is as much score as much possible before the timer runs out. Scores obtained by collecting things and breaking everything, and get score by making a multiplayer. After a minimum amount of scores reached, the doors open. Almost feels a little bit like Katamari, like that. Like, you're gonna get gated for how much score you have. Ooh, there's medals now. Okay, let's, let's try and break some shit. Woo! Gonna just break Bark stuff, because apparently he's the bad guy. Although I don't think he is. Oh, didn't block that well enough. Alright. Pop. Basically, we're, our, our job is now to clean. We're no longer an electrician, we're the janitor. Just gotta pick everything up. It's viscera cleanup detail all over again. Or power Wash Simulator, or any of those games, really. I don't want to destroy the arcade machines. They're my friends. <laughs> how effective that attack is if you can't hit right in front of you. Oh, there's a metal. Now the exits are open, but we could keep trying. And we have about eight and a half minutes to do so, so why wouldn't we? Oh, 
bust it all. <laughs> I like that it's actually registering this as just property damage. Should probably kill the thing that's attacking me. Oh, oh, oh. Can I break this big ass box? Yes, I can! I stand corrected, it's Blast Core all over again. But with a scythe, so it's better Blast Core. are actually fighting back, I guess. I think there's stuff over there, but... Actually, there's probably stuff under here. Haha! <laughs> These levels are huge. <laughs> yeah, I've got a huge score multiplier. Yeah, I, I do appreciate the, the insane score multiplier. Ah, oh, there's there's one of those medals. I want that. No score for that, though. Can I break that boat? I want to break the boat. <laughs> if I can break that boat, it might be the game of the year. Oh, we got the gold medal. leaving until I try and take out this boat. Oh, I can't. Still pretty good game, though. Oh, you got a freaking projectile. You jerk. Alright. Well, let's try and break some more stuff. We need a bigger... Okay, yeah, they've, they've actually sort of amped up their security <laughs> since I started my little uh, cleaning regimen. I don't think that flying thing actually does anything. Oh, hello, what have we up here? Nope, guess I'm dealing with you guys now. Forty-one score multiplier. Let's see how high we can make that go. Oh, yeah, let's get up here. Feels like we shouldn't be up here, and that's why we want to be. <laughs> Break everything. That siren kind of reminds me of like the bubble shield from Sonic Three. Wow. <laughs> around here. We've been here. You can tell because everything's been destroyed. <laughs> I love how varied all these missions are too. Right, I think we've done everything we need to to get the medals. So let's get out of here. I guess. If I have to. There we go. Oh, it's going to get harder too. I kind of wish I stuck around. <laughs> and there's exploration medals there too oh there's so much content in this freaking game oh we just unlocked a new side thing too beat down tower yeah obviously we're going here
gauntlet match, it looks like. Feels so good. It's a bit of a juggle to it too. I'm, I'm not sure how how intense the air game here is, but like I don't think it's still make cry levels or anything, but. Carry you. Take care of you. I don't think I want to stand near that thing. Those look explosive-y. Alright, Bob. There we go. Oh. oh. Well, there goes my combo. Stupid guy with a gun. That's not fair. I'm just equipped with a farming implement. That I'm using very wrong. Or very right. One of those two things. Good. Ah, oh, man. This this game is just... It's very special, <laughs> clearly. Alright, let's see. While walking? I'm not so good at that, so let's practice. There we go. Whoop. There we go. It's not quite Warframe, but it works. Just gotta make sure you don't run head on at them. Like, every bit of the movement in this just flows together so well. Throw that wall running in with wall climbing. Gain all that height? Oh, that, that's just... Oh, the movement in this is just so beautiful. There we go. <laughs> all right. Arid Hole. Get coins to complete the stage, so it's one of those scavenger hunt missions. Oh, I like these. Alright, so let's do it. Okay, I see one of those coins right there. It's around here somewhere. How does an indie game have this much content? And this quality? And how is this series not better known? <laughs> like, everything about it is a total crime. Ah, oh, it's up there. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can get back up there, no problem. I'll grab that, thank you. Whoa! <laughs> that was a bit close. Just a bit, though. That's not what I wanted to do at all. But sometimes failure leads to success. I see a whole bunch of these coins over here. Whoop. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's one below the rail as well. 
I'll have to go back and get it. Oh man, this... I just... It baffles me that this isn't like a huge franchise <laughs> at this point. And that this is a game that's basically made by one person. Like, it's just... It baffles me that these small indie projects can be so much better than, like, the multi-million dollar nonsense Sega's actually putting out. It's just... How? How is this stuff, on a fundamental level, so much better? Well, it, it's easy to say that. It's it's that the people who make this actually care and know what they're doing. Because they're willing to actually sit down and say, this is what made this good, as opposed to, you know, a, a board of directors that focus test things and don't understand anything, but... Yeah, if, if this doesn't catch some more attention, I'm, I'm probably gonna flip shit myself. <laughs> I, I think it's safe to say this will probably end up on my Game of the Year list for sure. But who knows, you know, like, I'm, I'm having fun. And I mean, hell, if you're interested, maybe we could do this on a slightly more regular stream type thing. Like, I was just gonna do this as a one-time thing, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. Woo! Bop! Oh, this feels so good. I'll be part of a crusade to get this series better known. <laughs> oh, man. I I'm not gonna lie. This... This game... This this game... This, this year's Game of the Year list is gonna be hard. Because back in February... I already had three games that were basically tied for first, but this this might be a fourth. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, this, this game just feels like it absolutely deserves all the attention it gets. I mean, the previous ones, too. But just in general, I have no idea how this series isn't, like, First of all, I, I don't know how something this quality is made by as small a group as is on whatever budget they make, which probably isn't much compared to like actual like full-on proper Sonic games, which have so much money. It's like this series should be better known. This series shouldn't be as good as it is based on the resources poured into it. At least comparatively to what Sig is actually capable of outputting, but it's infinitely better. Well, to be fair, Sig is not really doing much that's impressive with their stuff. I mean, hell, they're they're mucking up their own compilation of a game that's basically a no-brainer cash cow for them. So, you know, oh, this feels so good. It has such a nice sense of speed too. It's not uncontrollable by any means. But it definitely feels like there's a lot of momentum there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's, uh, a, for those treasure hunt levels, there's actually a fair few extra medals. The first one might not have, or maybe we just didn't see them in the first one, but... But, um... Yeah. Alright, what do we have next? Area 3. District 5 gets the goal. Let's see what the next level is all about. I'm excited. Alright, I'm already on board with the soundtrack to this level. Nope, wanna see. Hold on a sec. These are little prison cells. Oh, that's cool, with little people actually in them. They actually populated these prison cells. They're not just background filigree that just could ostensibly be prison cells. They're actual prison cells. That's bloody awesome. Let's see if I can make it over there. I mean, obviously I can make it over here, but let's actually do it. Bop. So much to these levels.
Now, I might be bold in saying this, but I don't think Sonic uh, Frontiers is going to beat this game. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I, I think this is going to be uh, better, best Sonic. And Sega should just pack it in now. Because they've been taken out by an indie developer <laughs> who gets their product better than they do. Nope, I wanted to go up there. Crap. <laughs> well, I definitely am not letting that stand. I gotta get up there. There we go. All the bits. If there's something up there, but I want it whether there's something up there or not. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you have a good day, Squirrel. And I hope to see you again. And hey, you know, if you're enjoying this, maybe we can make this a regular thing. I don't mind playing more of this. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind doing it on my own time, but you know, if someone actually wants to see this, I'd, I'd be happy to play more. I'm having an absolute blast with this. Oh, this, this game is just special. But yes, I, I hope that uh, by Monday you do own a copy of this. There's a bundle, it's on sale, just don't think about it, just get it. <laughs> I'm dirt poor and I can afford it. <laughs> Feel free to hit up the Patreon and make sure I'm less dirt poor, so I can actually afford things that actually cost a lot of money. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Nope. No. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess I'm unfortunately just going to have to submit to the weird angle. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Is there something down here? There might be. If you wanted to be sneaky and hide stuff, you'd hide stuff like real low like that, too. Still, we're back at the start, so I guess, yeah, we'll actually start moving, I guess. Uh, I just want to jam out some music right now. Oh, this game is so cool. You know, it was a total surprise to me last week that this game was coming out this week. <laughs> you know, it was like, wait a minute, that thing I was super excited about that was nebulously coming out, it's coming out next week? <laughs> Oh, man, that was a good surprise. Ooh, okay, well, obviously I need this, thank you. Zip lines? Yes, please. Woo! Okay, I see zip lines, but I also see lots of side content, and I want to explore it all. Even if I have to fling myself in the pit to do it. Or just land some weird geometry. Like, yeah, if you wanted to be, like, real cheeky, you'd hide stuff, like, down here. That'd take a lot of effort to get to without dying. And you might only catch it just a glimpse from, like, the side of your eye if you came at a specific angle. Ah, stop attacking me. I want to platform. I want to explore. It's my whole thing. Eh. Ah, oh, man. I was gonna say it again. Don't think about buying this game. Just buy this game. Buy the whole series. This is the most well polished of them. But damn it, this is not something to think about. It's just that good. It's a no brainer. Whether you like Sonic or not, whether you like platformers or not, this is just an excellently made game. Regardless of whatever criteria you like or dislike, everyone should play Spark the Electric Jester is what I'm saying. Oop. Uh, I want to go this way. All these little side roads. Boom. But this is one of the coolest uh, indie series I've ever played. Certainly of, of recent, 
series that come to mind. It's probably the most interesting. And this one just feels extra special to me. Beefard Games made a good thing and then continue to keep making good things and I hope they continue well after this because we need it up to spark the electric gesture 1 million Whoop. there we go I, I really should remember that I have a heavy attack but why use heavy when you can just use several light attacks that's just logic right there more attacks is better Bonk. Oh yes, please, I'll take those capsules. Oh! Oh, these are pressure plates, too. They're not just, they're spikes that appear sometimes, it's... You touch it, then spikes appear. Also, there's a coin down here. How does an indie game have this much content? <laughs> that I've managed to, like, kill, what, two hours at this point? Maybe. And we're only on level three. Whoop. Oh, we're we're knights into dreamsing now. I remember this from uh what was it Stick Canyon? It controls better the here than it did in Stick Canyon for what it's worth. Woo! Pop, pop. Grab that. Oh, you guys have some range on those javelins, don't you? Okay, what are we... There's gotta be something over here. I refuse to believe there isn't something over here. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Is there somewhere getting further up? Probably, but I'm not seeing it. Lots of stuff over there. Oh. Yep, I'm about to do this. Let's go! Oh. Oh, I had a homing attack and I didn't use it. I had that too. Alright, let's try this again. And my phone that I told not to turn off, just turned off. Even though it has full battery and it is charging right now. I don't know why it did that. Whoa! Let's not get ganked by lasers. Obviously I want up. I want upsies. Uh, oh no. Okay, I'll homing attack you. Homing attack that. Clearly there's something I can do up here. I don't know how that worked, I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh. I want all the collectimables. Give me the bits. The bits. So, how do I get back to the main path? It's over here. You gotta get all over the place if you wanna find all this stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm in love with this game. I don't think I'm going the right way, but at the same time... I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm definitely going backwards, I think. Pretty sure I'm going backwards at this point, but we've passed 10 minutes in this level. Oh, nope, those, those springs were all pointed this way, so I think we're going good. There's something up there. Guess I'll never know what it is until the next time I play this level. Up. Woo! Up. 
stop. Stop. Oh, oh. One, two, three, four. Good combo. Jump. Combo. Combo you. Got you. You could really create some stages where you never had to touch the ground if you just uh, creatively use that homing attack. This game really does take pretty much all movement options into consideration in its design, and it's impressive because there's so many options to move in this game. Oh, aha, you almost got me, but not quite. There we go. We've seen some little areas off to the side. Of course, I gotta go explore. <laughs> oh, I cannot overstate how good this is to play. Oh, it just feels so right. There's so many movement options, it's just mind-blowing. Like, the combat's a tad simplistic, but I'm, I think I'm probably making it far more simple than it needs to be. But the movement alone, I think, is a reason to play this game. It's such a treat. Parry. I can't wait to try the challenge mode where you only have, like, a tenth of a second to parry. <laughs> That's gonna make things a lot more interesting. Hell yeah, Spark the Electric Jester. You are a very special thing. And it's kind of shocking it took this long to find something as, as magical as you to really do it right, but you did. You did it perfectly. I'm guessing I'm about to get hit by something, and that's what that... Flamey death pill- Oh my god, the force is on fire, that's what all this is. It's Sonic 3 all over again. Stages in this game are so huge. Oh man. Bop. Oh crap! Nope. <laughs> that was not what I needed right there. Uh, knock off of Sonic Adventure, Sykes. I think you mean superior in every way to Sonic Adventure. <laughs> this is the Sonic Adventure 3 I've always wanted. Well, I mean, the second game was the Sonic Adventure 3 I always wanted. This is just an improvement on that on every capacity. Go get these games, they're so damn good. They're in a bundle, they're all on sale right now. Oh. Man, this this is... Such a good game. It has so much content, too. I mean, I've been playing for, like, what, two hours? And I think we're on level, what, three, four at this point? So many side areas, bonus objectives, different game types. Oh, this game is amazing. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's let's try and get a little bit more control over what we're doing over there. Whoa, okay. Oh, yep, we're good. We're good. Whoa, maybe less good. Uh, this is on Steam right now, but it's apparently planning to come to consoles at some point. But right now it's PC only, as are the other two.
right, let's see what Reaper Jester can do against a boss. Oh crap! Yep, don't know how to deal with that move just yet. Bit of a juggling game, but I'm not smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna challenge him with this. <laughs> it gets proper Devil May Cry. This is gonna be insane. Adding different combat types of your opponents with like the grabs and like the unblockables, that was a clever idea because. You know, before this, it was literally just figure out exactly what their attack pattern was and figure out the exact moment to parry it. Oh, I'm at the edge of the... I can't even parry that. Alright. Block. Ah oh, man, I'm I'm so happy this just came out. This this came out at an exact time where I needed something special to happen. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of a juggle game to it. But I'm not good enough to figure it out properly just yet. I think I've hardly been an expert at Devil Cry ever. Boom. Not gonna hop into a third phase. Alright. Oh, we got more story. Or even backstory to characters from the second game. Also, this is a a, a um remix of the original Spark theme. Hmm. Very creative naming convention there.
only for both of them to be slew by a tiny yellow goofy robot with a big foofy hat. <laughs> oh, what a good game. Looks like we've got some new challenges. Get to the goal, get to the goal, get to the goal. All right, let's start with this one. Even though this is ostensibly the same level as the previous one, and in terms of like the actual like stage design, it, it still feels like it has a completely different feel just by how they've arranged some of this stuff. It feels like it has like kind of a different tone entirely. It, it feels a lot more open. It's impressive like how how different the feel some of these levels can be, even though they are ostensibly kind of identical, at least in terms of the resources used to make them. Definitely want over there. Now, who's the question? How the hell do I get back? Like that, I guess. Woo! Whoa, let's get off the walls before we fly off into space. I don't want to F zero myself if I can help it. Oop. Want that. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. oh. Obviously I need that coin. Whoa! Almost killed myself, but that's fine. That's fine. We didn't die. Oh, although we're about to. <laughs> Splat. Ah. Alright. Let's try this again. <laughs> I think this is a different area that looks... Oh, no, I think it is the same one, because there's bits that are missing from that that I definitely collected. All right. Oh. Hold on. Ugh. No. No. <laughs> I see the coin. I need it. <laughs> All right. Uh, where am I, and where is that coin relative to where I currently am? I think it's over there. I see that coin, so let's go for that. Or try. And splat into the kill wall. <laughs> There's so much to explore in this game. I really gotta stop trying to do that. <laughs> stop getting greedy. Go to the platform that's close to you. That's the plan. Okay. Jump up. Jump. And homing attack. There we go. Alright. And bop. If the goal is right here, you could probably get here super fast if you did some nonsense. Like, it, it feels like it's an entirely vertical level. So, if you knew how to work the physics, you could probably get there real fast. But there's so much to explore there, too, you know? Alright, well, let's try this one. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is a swampy stage. Oh, this game just feels so good. I, I cannot emphasize that enough. So many bits to collect. I am just desperately trying to scan every inch of everything passing me by, hoping I see a coin. Oh, I think we're upside down. Whoa! That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, there we go. 
That one's on me. Alright, let's go. Left. Right. Whoopsie. I'm currently handling my phone, world. Alright. Let's go. Whoa, 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 yep, we good, we good, uh, we might not be good in a sec, though, unless, yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, man, this is just, it's so fun to play, okay, that's on me. I just want to rock out some music some more. That's why I took that death. Also, there's a coin here. That I clearly saw the first time. Obviously. Woo! Alright. Jump, jump. Here's the thing. I know I have to go to bed, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> okay. I really should grab that speed boost. Vertical wall climbing inclines is, is a problem that the previous iteration had as well. It's like, if you miss the boost, you could kind of put yourself in a not fun position of having to fly all the way back down. Side area. Gotta pick up the collection coins. Cause I'm an explorer. Doesn't seem to be any over here though. Ow. Oh, there's so much going on. It's so hectic. Oh, there's a coin. I do appreciate the giant light beams. On one hand, I think it makes it real easy to find them. On the other, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> when so much stuff is kind of all going on at once. Okay, how are we going to make this work? Uh, left. Yep. Okay, straight down. Right. Nope, that was bad. Uh, I have no idea how I threaded that needle, but I'll take it. Ooh. All right. Ah, oh, man. Like I, I don't know what else to say about this <laughs> for for suppressions thing. I'm sure I've reiterated my points so many times, but man, this. I've got the biggest smile on my face playing this, and that's saying a lot because I'm someone who's very frequently depressed, and I, I have been having a really crap day, <laughs> but damn if this game didn't make me grin ear to ear. This is, uh, god damn this game <laughs> is so good. And I think that at its core is what you need to know about what the hell is Spark the Electric Jester 3. Long story short, get this goddamn game and all its other games because the person who made this deserves every ounce of money you possibly can give them. <laughs> because, holy crap, it's so good. But, um, yeah, I guess that will be it for tonight because I have to go to bed. I think it's about 7 a.m. <laughs> my time. I, I've been playing this for a very long time and I, I don't want to go to bed. I want to keep playing this. This game is amazing. But I hope for my first PC stream this actually worked well. Uh, I, I've noticed a bunch of problems on my end, like I don't know how to navigate this app to save my life on my phone, so I can't even see my chat right now, but I haven't seen chats in a while, so it's okay, I'm sure. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe we'll do more of this. I, I'm certainly going to be playing a lot more of this on my own time, but you know, if, if people enjoyed, maybe I could do more Spark the Electric Jester as a thing. But uh, either way, long story short, get this game and the others, because they are excellent, excellent games. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, follow the stream to know we go live, because we try and stream as often as possible. Might be back tomorrow night with um, Skies, we'll see. 
I, I've got some other stuff I gotta do, but we'll see. Uh, you might want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel, see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have a uh, Ratchet and Clank review up soon. As well, I'm in the process of doing a 2,000 subscriber special, and if you haven't subscribed, definitely do that. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can, so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is play one of the best Sonic games ever made, and, and you know, infinitely better than the Sonic games that are actually coming out by Sega at this point. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and go buy Spark the Electric Jester 3. They're not sponsoring me or anything, I'm just a fan, and this is damn good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet. The moment I figure out how to turn this off.